You know, I got in, it seemed like it was going to be a good place. For people who are blind, there aren't a lot of jobs for people, so I really do appreciate the job that I have. Sue Hergard, and I'm the receptionist at the Iowa City Center. In March, I'll start my 23rd year. Well, I really like it. It's like another, just coming to see my friends, you know, I really like dealing with different calls and then just greeting people that come in and make sure they get to what meetings they need to go to. Hi, how may I help you? What I have is what's called brightness pigmentosa, and what it basically is, is the rods and the cones in the back of your eye attached to the retina, and so they're not working. And so it kind of looks like cobblestones in the back of your eye. Since I was like 13 is when I first started noticing problems. And it's, it's a very gradual disease where it can point, put you to where you're totally blind. I'm not totally blind. I can still see light and dark and I can see shadows. And so it, it's basically it's tunnel vision and night blindness. With the adaptive equipment I have, it doesn't affect me a lot. I actually have a speech synthesizer into my main hard drive for my computer and a piece of software which is called JAWS and that is how it makes the computer run. So I don't use a mouse but I do have a mouse at my station and I do have a screen for my computer. So then when I'm having trouble with my computer, I can have someone assist me with that. I use what's called Braille and it's basically how I read and write and I use what's called a slate and stylus. Um, to write, and then I also have the other piece of equipment which is called a KNF the mobile reader, and it looks like a cell phone, but it has a piece of software in it where it will read a printed page verbally back to you. Front desk coverage list, Jake and Sue will be in an interview in room from 10-10. 30 steps class with Kristen will be in the Watson room from 9-3. So I use that mainly for the faxes. With being from a small town, there really wasn't a whole lot for me. A lot of it is how, what kind of attitude you have. You can really get down on yourself and not think, oh, I can't do anything, I'm disabled. So if you have a positive attitude and say, oh yeah, I can do this, I can do that, that helps a lot, I think. It really gave me a sense of accomplishment that I got the job and I've been able to keep it for as long as I have.